Okay, we're back here live in San Francisco, day two of SiliconAngle.com's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the advanced strike a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle, and I'm joined with my co-host Jeff Frick uh, from SiliconAngle, Wikibon, and we are here to talk a video, startup, front end, a lot of challenges around rich media. I see real time, they're talking about the developer action here at the Fluent Conference, which is put on by O'Reilly Media, wall-to-wall -wall coverage, and one of the challenges is mobile. Cloud, real time, low latency, Node.js, JavaScript, all that stuff is coming together. Great for websites, add rich media into the mix, can be even more challenging. So our next guest is Lyle Shearer, front end developer at Huddle. Uh, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks. You guys uh, obviously have a killer app that's uh, well received by sports enthusiasts, and Jeff Frick has a lot to add on this subject because you're a user, that's right, as John. well as a host of theCUBE, and a user of this guest, so I know you're you're ecstatic about this, so I'll let you take it away. Yeah, I was excited to see the guys, they always wear their Huddle t-shirts, so I, uh, I, I grabbed them out of the uh, the Expo Center and asked them to come on board, because I think Huddle's a really interesting story. One, it involves video, which is never an easy thing to work with online, with low latency and all the challenges that come with that. Two, you're dealing with football coaches, who A, maybe aren't the most technical savvy guy, I mean more than football coaches, but high school, a lot of high school coaches and other coaches. Um, and then three, kind of what, what I think is an interesting story is your guys' progression from a technological point of view in terms of, I know you started with Silverlight and all the, then all the guys started getting apples and they're all crazy, ah, I got an apple, I can't get Silverlight to work. And then now, as you've slowly adopted mobile and bringing more multi kind of input devices into a single system, in a multi-format system where you, uh, and I'll just talk about it, you know, they, they created an app for the iPhone where you can do some of your work live at the field, you upload that, then it works in conjunction with the more uh, legacy apps that you've built, and then you work in an integrated fashion. So, I don't know, I guess it wasn't much sorry. of a question, I'm sorry, but to talk a little bit about the development challenges as, as you guys have had to change with changing technology, kind of as your customer demands have, have changed. Yeah, certainly. Um, I mean, the company really started out uh, working with uh, the Huskers at UNL, and at that point it was actually just a thick client application. Um, so it wasn't really about till uh, 2008, I believe, um, that we started making the move towards the web and towards the high school market, um, and just sort of adapting with the technology there. Um, and that just made it a lot easier for us to scale and to support a lot more uh, a lower cost solution for high schools that was just a, as applicable to them as, as the more expensive the client was to you know professional and college teams. Uh, so that was one real big change that really let us take off and um, gain a lot of customers, a lot of speed uh, and, and growth uh, there, really grew our support team, uh, which I think is really a pivotal part of, of our success too. You know, we have a great product, but uh, we really have world class support. So, you know, like you said, you know, some coaches aren't the, the best, you know, using different, you know, computers and uh, different websites and, and handling technical support issues. Uh, so that's definitely been a real help, uh, you know, bridging that gap. We, you know, we have really power high end users as well, but um, so definitely a lot to our support. But uh, yeah, as you mentioned, um, as we've grown, we had, you know, the original, just the, the basic web application, but then obviously, you know, mobile inevitably is going to become a part of this. Sure. Uh, we kind of held off for a little while, uh, and we didn't really do any uh, mobile, you know, web app type um, work for, for the longest time, um, but we basically skipped over that and just went right to native. Uh, we started with iOS and the iPad, um, and just tried to get a really great, you know, we saw that as a perfect uh, delivery mechanism for video. I mean, that's what I've had it, one of the strongest uh, features of it is video. So that just seemed like a perfect platform to really start and dive into that mobile experience. Uh, so we did that and then, of course, uh, you know, slowly moved, got, basically got a lot of experience with, with iOS and developing for iOS and um, then moved to, you know, the iPhone app uh, and then also in the middle there, sort of got an Android app out there, uh, which actually currently, you know, boosting and sort of getting up to speed with, with sort of our iOS devices. Um, and then more recently, we've got a, a Windows 8 app also um, out to sort of support, uh, you know, an, another big missing uh, uh, platform for us. So as far as, you know, watching and, re and reviewing your video and everything for, you know, coaches and athletes, um, definitely have a lot of options and really have your video wherever, whenever. Uh, on the video upload side, then we also originally started with a Windows client to upload the video and then later 
got familiar with the Mac platform and added support for native support for Mac to really, because we saw a huge percentage of coaches that were just well, demanding that. Lyle, I want to ask you about um, user experience because you guys have a product that, you know, your target audience is not so tech savvy, coaches mm -hmm. possibly, Jeff, you know what I'm talking about, um, and there's a lot of user design issues, but also some tech involved. We heard some folks really talking about Node, making it really fast on the latency side. Have you guys, have you identified those challenges and what kind of opportunities do you see in that area? Yeah. Um, I mean, we're constantly, you know, the core at our core, it's delivering video um, it is our product, and uh, you know, there's, there's, we've been slowly trying to incorporate, you know, like HTML, HTML5 video delivery, and um, had issues with that in different areas. We still are sort of current main uh, delivery, other than the mobile apps, is with Silverlight, um, so that does have some um, some. Limitations. Uh, we've also, you know, looked into different capabilities of, of Silverlight and other medias, like the um, I'm like on the name now, but uh, being able to, you know, jump to the middle of a video clip without loading the entire thing, uh, some things like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, one of the great things about about Huddle, and you guys have a real appreciation for your customer, and, and, and football coaches, I'm just sure everyone's heard stories whether you're into it or not. I mean, the guys have no time. They work, they work, they work, their work. And the other interesting thing, right, is you can never look at too much film. You can always mm -hmm. go back through the film and look at it again. So there's this real singular focus on speed and enabling those guys to do their job faster, having concurrent tagging for multiple people, trying to get it up, now having the, the preloaded uh, tags from the app. Talk a little bit about how that kind of a design philosophy influences what you do. And then two, as you've adopted these other kind of mobile technologies, how that's enabled you to kind of rethink your application. Yep. Um, so actually one of our uh, sort of themes, one of our core themes, uh, when whenever we're doing design or you know working with a new feature uh, we always sort of go back to sort of a mantra of just give me my damn video um, <laughs> and that's one that keeps ringing true because uh, that is really what coaches want is to to get their video and you know maybe some other things but at the core they really want to to watch their video they want their players to watch their video but they want to just get through the video cut through everything else and, and just get that video so that's something that's helped us uh, you know keep bringing the focus back to, to where it needs to be, not getting distracted by all these side features and, and little things, unless those help get you to your video quicker, more quickly. Um, but yeah, we definitely have sort of taken some different um, approaches or being able to experiment a little bit um, with our mobile, our, our native apps, uh, being able to sort of rethink like what is the really the most important thing uh, to experience here. So if you're using you know, the our, our web you know, huddle.com, you know, the experience is a lot different because that's, it's still sort of building on the original, uh, the original idea, whereas the, the mobile is much more streamlined as to just, you know, video, just minimal infrastructure to actually get to that and just being able to skip through really easily and, you know, really data driven, being able to, you know, view plays based off of different Know, stats and yeah. um, just trying to really quickly navigate the video. The navigation is phenomenal. Like I, like I said, if I had a nickel for all the hours I spent on, on Huddle, I would I would be a rich man. So I, I want to thank you for coming on. I know we just kind of grabbed you and uh, and I got excited for, uh, for for bringing you guys on because it's a great application. It's also a great story of a tech startup coming from not tech. Guy was an assistant coach. He needed a tool. He's got the tools. They built a great little tech yeah. company in out in, in the heartland. Yep, yeah. and um, have got tremendous tremendous market penetration, not only in high schools, but in colleges and also some pro teams yeah. as well. And so. great end user experience. Ultimately, the theme of the show is about user experiences, so congratulations. This is theCUBE here at O'Reilly's Fluent Conference. Tweet us, I'm at Furrier. Um, also, um, tweet us any questions, we'll address them for you. And uh, go to the hashtag Fluent Conference, Fluent Conf, C-O-N-F, and uh, we'll follow your tweets and bring you inside theCUBE. This is theCUBE at O'Reilly Media's Fluent Conference. We'll be right back after this short break.